Hi, it's Leo. Today I just want to show you a real short video uh, about this Anton Bauer digital battery charger. I'm surprised that there's so few uh, videos online about this charger because it does some pretty cool stuff. Uh, one, one review said that the charger had uh, textured uh, grip handle similar to the digital batteries, but it doesn't. The, the, the housing is just high impact plastic. There's no rubber grips or anything. People have complained about the size because they think that it takes up too much uh, desk space. I haven't had that problem. Uh, I only have the four batteries. I don't have to stack chargers. So this particular size is fine for me. And in addition, uh, it's easier to carry the four batteries around set uh, with this big handle rather than having a flat uh, battery charger. I want to show you a couple things though that neither well nobody just seems to be touting some of the cool things that this does so I want to show them to you today the first thing I want to show you is this feature here on the back it's a four pin XLR uh, power output port and what it allows you to do is turn any device that takes uh, batteries uh, these are the gold series batteries any device that takes these batteries you can use this charger as an AC adapter which is very slick. So you buy the right uh, four pin XLR cable that has the tip uh, that you need, whether it be a DTAP plug or uh, another type of power plug, but you buy the right one and then this charger becomes an AC adapter, which is very, very cool. This is really what I wanted to show you that nobody else has made a video on, even Anton Bauer, which I'm really surprised at. This is the control screen for the charger. It's a quad charger. You can see all four, of my, all four of the batteries and that they're all fully charged right now. And that's the main home screen. It has a setup screen that you go here and it shows you the serial number of the unit, uh, what firmware revision it has, and then you can turn certain features on and off. Uh, auto dim and auto shut off. If the Anton Bauer recommends that this be left on all the time and the battery is always connected to it. It keeps them in, once they're charged, it keeps them into uh, lifesaver mode, uh, which is nothing more than a trickle charge. It lets the battery power down, maybe uh, lose power to about 5%, and then slowly brings it back up to 100. And it just exercises all four batteries that way uh, to keep them fully powered. So auto dim and auto shut off, should the charger lose power, the this screen would stay lit because it's being powered by the batteries but if there's no AC power uh, the unit will dim this screen out and it will also shut itself down so as not to drain the batteries powering up the charger. This feature here global trans enable there's new rules for flying with certain lithium-ion batteries that are over a hundred watt hours which these batteries are so if you're flying with these batteries they can't go on board the plane with more than 30 percent charge they have to be discharged to at least 30 percent or lower so when you turn this feature on it brings you into this global uh, screen and you can see here that uh, it's made for uh, making the settings that these batteries are going to fly the feds have the rule at 30 percent but the charger knocks it down to about 29 just to be sure that when you get to the airport that these batteries are at the right amount of power level to board the plane. Back on the home screen here which is kind of neat, let's look at an individual battery. So we'll start with battery one. I'm assuming these go one, two, three, four. So we'll go to battery one and you get all sorts of details about the battery. You can see that it's 100% charged. Uh, it has some things that I'm really not even sure what they are. The present, the learn, the nameplate, I don't know. The status, it's in lifesaver mode, meaning these batteries are no longer charging. They're at the uh, full capacity. Uh, a calibrate, there's, there's something on Anton Bauer's site that these digital batteries can be calibrated. I really haven't looked into it yet, so I just have calibration set off. Uh, the temperature, the temperature of the, I'm assuming it's the temperature of the battery itself is 26 cent, uh, centigrade. It gives you the serial number and uh, uh, date of manufacturing number. 
So if there's ever a recall on batteries, you can easily tell if your batteries are subject to the recall. Each battery menu has the uh, discharge uh, option. If I had turned on the travel option in the main screen, this would be an active screen and I could have it start discharging my batteries to 29%. Now this is what I thought was really interesting. It also says cycles. So this battery has been charged 24 times. But if I take a look at this battery, you can see that it's only been charged three times. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm, I'm setting up my battery so I can get them all around the 25 time cycle period. So all the batteries have the same, because these batteries are rated for a thousand charges. So I just want to keep them all at the same number. So what I've done is after I realized that some batteries have far less cycles than others, I've numbered my batteries on which ones I want to use uh, on a shoot so I can get these batteries kind of in the same ballpark of how many cycles they've had. And uh, another thing, this is the, if you want to turn on the four, uh, the four pin XLR to use the charger as an AC adapter, you turn it on here. But th these are some really slick features that I'm just surprised there's nothing about uh, on YouTube or even on the Anton Bauer site. Uh, this the, the unit doesn't come with a uh, uh, a manual, but there's really not a lot to it. I, I figured everything out just by hitting all the buttons. But there is no manual. You can go to Anton Bauer's website and download a, a user's manual there. This uh, USB port right here, uh, that's to load update firmware into the charger when it's released by Anton Bauer. And another feature that the unit has, and I haven't quite figured out why, it has Wi-Fi. So there's an app that Anton Bauer has for OS, iOS, or Android that you can load on your device, and you can dial into the charger from anywhere to find out what the status is with your, with your batteries. I'm, I'm just not sure, well, I don't think I would ever have to use it, and I'm not sure who would unless it was a... Uh, maybe a rental house that's dealing with a lot of batteries and it needs to uh, check status, maybe an exceptionally large uh, production that has many uh, adapters, uh, you know, power charges on site and the uh, somebody on the crew has to keep track on what's available, how many batteries are available uh, at any given time. Maybe a reality series, something like Survivor, where they're running, you know, just tons of cameras on the show. Maybe it's something, maybe this feature for Wi-Fi would be more, um, better suited for a production like that. But it's nothing I, I would really have to worry about on my small productions. But I just wanted you to see these features. Uh, the, the charger kind of got knocked online for its design, uh, its weight, its length, uh, the only thing I'm going to I'm going to knock it on is the uh, the plastic housing. I, I do wish that they had used this rubberized uh, texture on the whole charger, but uh, they didn't. So that's the only thing I can really uh, knock the charger for. So that's it. I wanted you to see these features. I hope uh, you learned something. I'm Leo Mahoney, and I'll see you next time.